Hi, I'm Gabe Silver, environmental educator with the James River Association. Today, we'll learn about the James River watershed. What is a watershed? Simply put, a watershed is an area of land that drains into a specific body of water. You can imagine your bathtub as a watershed. When you turn on the shower, any water that falls anywhere in the tub will end up flowing down the drain. You could call your bathtub the tub drain watershed. Real watersheds are just like the bathtub example, only they include both water moving through the ground and water moving over the surface. Water enters the watershed from the atmosphere when it rains and snows. It then goes into surface waters, such as rivers or groundwater, and works its way toward the ocean. As water finds its way to the ocean, we use it in many ways. Watersheds define our responsibilities to other people. We don't pollute the water where we live because we expect that those upstream of us won't pollute the water before it reaches us. After all, it's all the same water and we all need clean water to live. That's what makes a watershed a community. As you can see, everyone lives in a watershed. Watersheds are defined by the body of water we are interested in. This means that watersheds can be very big or very small depending on whether we are interested in a large bay or a tiny creek. Can you find the Chesapeake Bay watershed? The Chesapeake Bay watershed covers all the land where surface and groundwater drains to the Chesapeake Bay, the largest estuary in the United States. This watershed is big, covering land in six states for a total of 64,000 square miles. Do you live in the Chesapeake Bay watershed? Here's a map of all the major watersheds in Virginia. Which do you live in? The James River flows into the Chesapeake Bay, so the James River watershed is a smaller part of the larger Bay watershed. Covering 10,000 square miles and 25% of Virginia's land area, the James River watershed is pretty big too. Do you live in the James River watershed? If you do, you're one of two and a half million Virginians living in this watershed whose actions affect the river and who use the river in many important ways. What do we mean when we say watershed? Remember, a watershed is an area of land that drains into a specific body of water. The borders of a watershed are called divides, where high ground or mountains shed water into two different river systems. Water flows away from the divide and into small streams called tributaries of the larger river. Any rain or snow that falls in the green area on this map will end up flowing in through surface and groundwaters to the James River. So the green area is called the James River watershed. Are there smaller watersheds within the James River watershed? There are many smaller watersheds within the James River watershed. One example on the top map is the Rivanna watershed. As you might guess, the Rivanna River flows into the James River so the Rivanna watershed is part of the larger James watershed. We could keep defining smaller watersheds until we reach a small creek that might run near your neighborhood. Humans have depended on the James River watershed for thousands of years, but how do you rely on your watershed today? When the land is healthy and there are plenty of plants and trees, the James River watershed gives us clean water to drink, bathe and wash. It provides food like oysters, crabs, and rockfish, irrigates farmers' crops when there is no rain, allows industrial mills to run, providing jobs and goods we need while making it possible to generate electricity using coal, nuclear, or hydroelectric power, offers recreation such as fishing and boating that helps the tourism economy, and is still a vital highway for efficient transportation. And the James does all this while absorbing pollution from sewage treatment plants, the air, cities, lawns, farm fields, and industry. Wherever we live, work, and play, we are always in a watershed. How we treat the land and water affects the people and wildlife downstream who, just like us, depend on clean water for survival. You can help today by sharing with others what you know about watersheds. To learn more about the health of the James River watershed and how you can help, check out other episodes of the James River University on our website, www.jrava.org. Thanks.